Thank you for joining me. Today I was wanting to cover spaghetti. Here are two plates of spaghetti. I'll go into the differences later. This is actually pretty easy. You uh, might have seen my plate tutorial. I have a plate tutorial um, up on video and connected to the description it will show my um, cup of tea tutorial and the cup of tea tutorial has the written instructions for the plate as well if you're wanting to see them written down. You'll need a plate for your spaghetti. To shorten the video I decided not to do that here. Um, first to prep to make for the spaghetti I take some dried oregano and I chop it up with my clay blade. So there we go. This is how I chop it up. You just continue to do that until you have lots of little tiny pieces. So that's one part. The next part is preparing the noodles. The noodle color is actually a little bit of ecru in a lot of translucent. The clay that I used is the Primo, but it's ecru and translucent. It's probably about uh, maybe an eighth ecru to translucent. It's mostly translucent and enough to give it a color, um, just a little bit of the ecru color to it. So there we go. There's two ways to do this. You can do it either by conditioning it and rolling it out into a very long snake. So you could continue to roll, roll, roll till you have a a very long noodle. Or you could take the easy way, <clears throat> and this is a tool called a clay extruder. It's a tube and it has a handle. They come with different types of tips. This is the one that I used for the spaghetti. It's not clean right now, I just used it. But um, there's just a whole bunch of little circles and you put your clay inside the tube you put the top on and you twist on the attachment to cover it. I usually throw the attachment in the lid rather than on the edge of the extruder before I put it down and then from here you would twist the handle and the clay comes out. When the clay comes out it looks like this long noodle that's starting to dangle so there we go and then the other clay that we take care of is the meatballs. The meatball was a um, was translucent with burnt umber mixed and I mixed it like I was marbling it. I just didn't completely marble it which is why you see the streaks of the dark brown and I do a little snake of that. So let's get started here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is take some liquid clay. I'm going to pour some liquid clay onto the table here. This is just plain white paper. I'm using uh, Fimo Deco Gel. That just happens to be what I want to use today. You could also use TLS. TLS is this brighter red strawberry, uh, strawberry, this red kind of strawberry like color. It's a little bit brighter. And then um, the darker red is the Fimo. So I'm doing the same color combination. The lighter one was TLS, the darker one is the Fimo Deco Gel. That's the difference. Now what I do before attaching the spaghetti is I just pick up with a toothpick a little bit of deco gel and I paint it on the bottom of my plate. It's nice and clear but it's going to act as glue to hold down the spaghetti. I'll pick up a noodle and I don't mind ends hanging off a plate so I usually let my spaghetti hang off the plate a little bit and I just start pressing down some noodles 
making them go in all sorts of different directions because I like my spaghetti messy. I just go back and forth trying to cover up the center of the plate. Sorry, I hope I wasn't out of frame that whole time. And I try to get a nice good amount of spaghetti on there. And you can actually use a um, safety pin, a needle tool, your toothpick to kind of move it around a little bit once you're done. If you weren't happy with uh, how the spaghetti laid out on your plate, I'm fine. This is just kind of a tutorial to show you how I make them. Um, I take a little bit more time when I'm making a product just so it's a little prettier. Now what I'm going to do is take a little slice off of my um, meatball cane over there and that was just the translucent and burnt umber marble together till it was almost mixed. That's just a little bit of burnt umber to a lot of a lot of primo. <clears throat> now you can vary the size of your meatballs how you want. I'm just rolling those little slices I took into balls and from here after I roll in the ball I want to texture it. One way you can texture it is a toothbrush. Another way is like how I happen to have a nutmeg grinder. I could roll in a circle on there. And uh, let's see if you can see the texture. Since this is a camera phone, it doesn't have the best micro <laughs> abilities. But when I roll it, you get a whole bunch of little indents so it's not nice and smooth. And I would keep the real bumpy side face up on my spaghetti. So there we go. We have meatballs. So I'll put the meatballs on my plate of spaghetti trying to have the textured end up and uh, obviously uh, you could adjust the size of your meatballs to how large or how small you like them depending on what size you like them on your plate. Now using the same pile of uh, Fimo Deco Gel I'm going to make my spaghetti sauce. I take red powdered food coloring. You can also do this with red pastels. I prefer for the food coloring personally. It incorporates more easily and it doesn't leave a whole bunch of large granules behind. So here we go. I mix, mix, mix and that's a very, very red red. But I don't think spaghetti sauce looks bright red, red, red. If you're using pastel, add a little bit of rust or a little bit of brown. For here, this is um, a color I really like of co colored food powdering. Um, and it's called Spiced Pumpkin. I'll add that in. And that orange helps make it look a little bit more like real. This is, um, I call it Linnaise, that's what it looks like to me. I think it's actually pronounced Linnaise, but this is um, their Luster Dust Spice Pumpkin. <clears throat> my allergies are still bugging me today, so sorry about clearing my throat, guys, and sounding nasally. Here we go, so I mix in the Luster Dust Spiced Pumpkin. If you're using pastels, you want to use a mixture of red. You want to use rust colors and maybe even a touch of brown just to warm it up a little bit more. Um, use those colors in moderation. Now see the oregano that I sliced up here with my blade? I like to throw a little bit of that in the sauce as well. This is how dark it looks with... Um, with the Fimo. It's not going to look that dark if you choose TLS. TLS, it's kind of hard to um, 
it, you can't really tell what it's going to look like before you bake it. Um, I like to leave part of my meatball um, uncovered and part of my meatball covered. So it, when you are painting on your spaghetti sauce, allow some of the meat color to show. Oh, sorry. I'm always watching what I'm doing rather than keeping an eye on the camera. So sorry guys when I do that. Um, due to time constraints I won't be able to refilm this again today. So I'm hoping I wasn't off frame too too much. So from there, there we go. We bake it. After we bake it we pull out of the oven, it's done, and then I would um, put a glossy glaze on the sauce. Um, I actually do like to, while it's wet, right before I bake it, my personal... There we go. I like to spray, spread a little bit of oregano on there before I put it in. I just really like that. Um, that's up to you whether you do it or not. It's definitely not necessary. <clears throat> Here was the finished ones again from earlier. The one on the right hand side is um, is the Fimo, which is darker red. The one on the left hand side is TLS. It's still pretty, but and it's the exact same combination of the spiced uh, pumpkin and the red. It's exact same combinations. It's just lighter. Um, I have the oregano in both. Both of them were done the same. Now, um, when you're looking at the TLS, uh, I like it, but it would actually look really nice, too, if you chopped up some little red um, in the same color and of solid clay and threw them in there, you could have tomatoes. So, that would be nice. If you have a good color mixture of uh, uh, pretty taupe, with white, you might even make little tiny mushrooms if you wanted more going on with your spaghetti. Uh, sorry, this has been a long tutorial, but um, I just thought it would be a good one to throw up there today. Wanted to get a little bit more up this week for you. And I'll try to be getting some um, more foods up soon. The same noodle color is used in the fettuccine, so... I may try to see if I have time to get a fettuccine tutorial up there. Talk to you soon. Um, if you want some more videos, go ahead and subscribe and let me know what you like. You can check out my shop, Sweet and Savory Trinkets. Google it. I'm on Etsy. I'm on Zibit. And um, you get an idea of what other types of foods I make. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.